Hello everyone, welcome to this new challenge called Emergency 64 Base. We're going to learn new hacking techniques, so let's get started. All right, in the description of the challenge, it says that this is a public boot to root. It's intended to be a more fun game than a serious hacking challenge. Hopefully we will learn uh, many techniques along the way. It's based on the Star Wars storyline. Basically, there are six flags to collect and each one is in the form of a base64 encoded uh, string. And so the objective is to become root and uh, get the flag under slash pulsewd. Okay, we've got the host name ctf12.rootme.org. The first thing I want to do is fire up and map. So before that, I'm going to cd into the folder and start nmap with the top ports. Let's do this time just 100 ports and filter out any ports that are not open in the results and uh, choose our host name. Hopefully this will take no time to run and we should get some ports back. Okay, we've got port 22 and 80. These are uh, classic ports for CTFs. I know you guys love to hack web, so that's why I target more web stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you want to discover other things. I already covered the brain pain, which was a binary exploitation. We did some buffer overflow. Um, so yeah, just tell me what you're interested in. All right, while uh, we poke around with the port 80, uh, we're going to target all the ports, TCP ports, and uh, let's give a file to store the results in. Perfect. Let's uh, fire up a web browser and then go to ctf12.rootme.org. By the way, uh, rootme is not sponsoring any of my videos. I just love the platform and it helped me in my earlier year, years when I started learning ethical hacking. So the first thing we see here is the name of the challenge 64 base with something in the subtitle. It uh, surely looks like something encoded. So what I can do is open a new tab. Let's CD quickly into our folder. Uh, I want to echo that string and then pipe it to the command base64 with the option dash d to decode it and it says here view the source okay let's uh, view the source control u or right click and inspect the source and here we have a bunch of uh, HTML tags links to several pages and uh, you we have something here, a long string. It looks like a hexadecimal string. Uh, and they, the characters here fall under the ASCII range. So I'd say this is um, ASCII encoded in hex. So I'm going to use Python to decode that using the function decode and it gives me a base64 string. Okay, so let's store that in a variable called x. And uh, I'm going to import a library in Python, uh, base64, and from it, I'm going to import base64 decode function. And I'm going to store the results in a variable y. And what I want to store is base64 decode the value of x. So if I type y, I get the first flag. Perfect. Now, it says in the description of the challenge that it contained a base64 encoded uh, string in the flag. So let's do that. Um, let's uh, define a uh, please subscribe variable where we can put our value and then the same way we've done with the y variable I'm going to just replace the variable with please subscribe seriously go ahead pause the video and subscribe very quick 
It helps me grow this channel. And yes, we get what seems to be like uh, some credentials. So let's put that in a file called maybe flags.txt and let's carry on. So this might be the uh, SSH credentials. I'm not sure. Let's see. The username would be 64base at uh, ctf12.readme.org. Mm, seems that the port is not... Oh, we have another port here. Okay. So what is this port 22? Netcat-v ctf12. Let's see what this port is about. Connection refused. Okay. What about the other one? This one. Oh, so this is actually the SSH port. Okay. So let's uh, use that dash B and then the port number that we were able to discover from the full TCP scan. And yes, we get a prompt. Perfect. So now let's use the uh, password. These are not the droids you are looking for. Paste in that and hit enter. Oh, bummer. We don't have the right credentials. Okay, let's carry on. What else do we have? Okay, so there's nothing really interesting here. Let's continue exploring the application. We have the about me page. What else? We have the post page. Dark Lord must explore. And this is exploration greatest. Hmm. I wonder if these text, if the text should contain anything interesting, like maybe some usernames. Uh, I'm not sure. Luke Skywalker could be a username. Important, use system instead of exec to run the secret shell. Only respond if you're a real Imperial class bounty hunter. Hmm. What else do we have? If we go to contacts... Oh, we have a form. Okay. Let's... Uh, use some dummy data to see what we can do here. I'm going to just activate my foxy proxy to proxy everything to burp and send the request. Your message has been sent. Okay. And what did we have here? Oh, we have a post request to slash mail slash contact me dot php. Okay, so it seems that we have a folder called mail. I'm not sure why I'm getting redirected to HTTPS. Okay, so we only have one file with a directory listing vulnerability, but nothing really there. A long time ago in a galaxy far away. Hmm. Older posts, maybe we have something. Well, it seems like this is just a static uh, website. There is nothing really important here. Apart from the mail feature, we have Lord Vader here. Could be a username. So I think I'm gonna do some directory brute forcing. So let's fire up wfuzz and I'm going to use a word list um, under my hacking tools, sec list, discovery, web content, and let's start small with quick hits. Um, I'm going to hide anything that returns 404 um, and I'm going to target the CTF hostname. Org and then fuzz as a placeholder and hit enter. Let's cross our fingers and hope that we find something. I have a bunch of 403s, 401s, okay. Hmm. These four O ones are all under admin. Okay. 
have a 200 package.json. We have a redirection for slash members. Okay. What do we have under members? Mm, nothing. Nothing in the source. Okay. Do we have something under admin? Oh, okay. We have a prompt. Well, that could be the credentials that we've had. Let's see. Flags. So the password is this one and the username is 64 base. 64 base and paste in the password. Nope, doesn't work. Okay. What else do we have? Yeah, package.json, nothing else. Okay, let's try with package.json. Maybe we have some vulnerable libraries. Okay, so this is a bootstrap template. That's getting, uh, its name is clean blog and it dependencies are these ones. I don't think uh, there is anything interesting here. So let's try with another approach. We've never like used a custom word list so what we can do here is uh, build one with what well, a tool called cool it's a really cool tool um, so if you type the help with dash h you have all the options um, so we can specify the minimum characters in the words that should be extracted from a website i'm going to uh, aim for mm, let's say four and then I'm going to give it the URL um, and redirect everything or write the results into a file using the dash W. I'm going to name that words. Okay, and uh, the URL would be our vulnerable CTF challenge dot root me dot org and uh, hit enter. And so if we show the content of words, we have a bunch of words here, okay? Let's try doing some directory brute force with this one instead. Maybe we could get something. So instead of the link to our quick hits, I'm going to use the words. And uh, you know what? I'm going to also filter out 403s. Yeah, that should, uh, that should work. Maybe because these are just words, I'm going to target directories. Okay, we have a lot of endpoints that return zero in length, so I'm going to filter those as well. So hide, um, and it seems that the characters here equals to zero could be a very good filter. Um, not code, but uh, what did we have here? Uh, let's uh, let's target words with W. So now any results that don't contain any words would not be returned. And so we have two folders, less and male. Less returns a somewhat bigger response. So let's uh, try that. Oh, yeah, we these are just uh, uh, less files used for CSS, but we have some variables. They could be holding some sensitive data. It's not the case anyways. All right, let's do another approach. Let's combine two word lists. WFuzz allows us to do that. I'm going to use the first word list as our first one, and the second word list could be the same. The idea here is I want to combine the two words from each word list and separate them by a dash. The way I can specify the placeholders is using the index of my word list. So the first word list contains the placeholder fuzz. The second word list would be put inside w, uh, inside the fuzz 2z. This is how we specify the indices in wfuzz. And so let's uh, hit enter and see what we get. So as you can see, we started with the first word in the first word list, that, and then we iterate through the same word list and we do that every time until we hopefully find something that could be interesting. So let's give it some time and uh, see what we get. 
So after the attack is finished, uh, we find a folder called imperial-class. So let's uh, give that a try without spaces. Oh, we have another uh, login form. So why not using the flags, cred the credentials found in the uh, flag one. So that would be 64 base and uh, in the password, copy paste, sign in. Oh, okay. We got access to what seems to be an internal folder. I'm not sure what this is, but in the next video, we're going to discover this. And hopefully we will dig deeper into this web application and see if we can get a foothold on the system. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up, comment with ideas that you want me to cover in the future and hit the ring bell to get notified once videos go live. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.